What the heck is SvelteKit streaming? Let's find out with a regular scenario. You have an e-commerce website. Let's add a nav bar to help users find things quickly. How about the beautiful hero with a call to action button to get people's attention? Oh wait, we need to show popular products to entice people to purchase. And while we're at it, why not add some banner and a footer? Now comes the difficult part. You want to make sure that that page loads quickly. In SvelteKit, you should pre-re-rendering everything on the server. This should help you, but you need to pass all of your data to the load function before a page gets rendered and shipped to the browser. The problem with this is that the full data on the page will need to be loaded and the page will not be visible until you have done all of this. This creates a delay of precious milliseconds, which is everything in the world of e-commerce and SEO. A page that loads for more than a second loses a lot of people and sales. This is what SvelteKit Streaming is solving. Let's explore how to achieve it. First of all, you will need to make sure you are hosting your application in an environment that supports streaming from serverless functions. Normally, this should work quite well on Vercel or Cloudflare, but I have not tested it on AWS. Let's open up a dummy project. Here we have nothing complicated. We're just loading some blog posts about crazy cooking news, and we're mocking that our API takes 100 milliseconds to respond. Loading my page is really quick, and we have a good performing website that shows data quickly to the user. But let's spice things up. I'll modify the code to show some really crazy products. However, the API is one that I can't control and it's gonna return only two seconds later, blocking my whole rendering. As you see here, we are left with a really bad loading time. This is because SvelteKit will wait to render until all the promises of the load function have resolved. However, we can work around this with stream responses. We'll simply move our product inside the stream object property of our response. This will allow us to receive this as a promise instead of blocking the rendering until it resolves. Inside our component, we change the rendering of the product to now go inside an await block, which will resolve and we also have the option of putting a loader while we await for the content. This will have the advantage of not delaying the loading. Let's see if it worked well. We're now seeing that the blog post loads really quickly, but we're seeing a loader while we await on the products to load, giving our users a page that is interactive instead of blocking it for a full two seconds as a blank screen. And this is how streaming in SvelteKit works. It is a really useful feature if you want to speed up your applications and at least give your users something to see. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe. Have a great day.